call it then, like that. Uh, I came to know them in 1969. I met them the first time. And also, that was the time that we were married and became a couple, my husband and myself. Uh, that was also for our two parents. It was the first time that they uh, uh, traveled to Rwanda outside Korea together. And uh, so then, first they started in America, and then they came to Europe. And that was the time when also my, my husband knew uh, true father already since 1965. He had many exp special experiences with him. But then together in Germany in 1969. And if I think back also, two parents came the last time together to Austria. It was the 19th of August in, in Innsbruck. They came together. And actually also the reason why they came uh, to Austria at that time it was very suddenly, it was not planned at all, was actually, I heard later, that it was a very difficult time for my husband spiritually, because so many, uh, yeah, uh, you know, Europe, many countries, and bring them together, and also the leaders. So there were also difficulties. And, and I heard that at that time, uh, really, it was uh, for my husband, and sure I was there because we, had, we prepared for them, uh, so that they could also in Innsbruck, really meet personally with my husband. And we thought, you know, when we prepared, they want to talk to the members. So we invited members who were not so far away to come to um, Innsbruck. But actually, two parents wanted to really give their love to my husband. And so they asked my husband, you know, and uh, so he, later after the meeting was over and uh, two parents left, then my husband told me he could really share his heart with two parents. He could tell two parents everything what was on his heart. And I know many things have been on his heart. Uh, yeah. Um, so this is a personal care, <laughs> and this I want to give. I want to testify about that. Two parents always cared personally. Yes, we were early members, and they never forgot. They didn't forget, you know, also that. Uh, yeah, my husband went to Europe as the first missionary. And uh, he made many conditions in order to uh, really develop uh, a family in Europe. And uh, always this uh, personal experience or personal meeting, I remember also 1976, two parents, they were like, there was no big, uh, big uh, uh, church in the world. There was actually a few members in Europe. So we were sitting on the floor with two parents. You know, really, they were parents. Everybody, they wanted to come to know. And they wanted to touch everybody's heart. They really showed, you know, the mission of a parent to really um, take care of the children. So, and then, yeah, this personal, uh, uh, personal meeting that never changed. Always, two parents remembered 
you know, the mission of my husband. Even my husband passed away already in 1984. And because I'm his wife, so two parents, uh, uh, I had the benefit because of that. And they never forgot that. You know, whenever I met or came close to two parents, they recognized. And that is not because of me, but this is because they are the parents. And we, we should learn from them to be a parent. Oh, yeah, but <laughs> so there are so many uh, personal uh, things. And also, uh, when my husband passed away, uh, sure, he got the news. But then through his secretary, he, he called me. And so he wanted to support me. And uh, so this is a parent's heart. So two parents never forgot what was invested. Or, uh, and this for this, I want to give baby testimony, the love of two parents. Sure, the early members, <coughs> they have this experience, and later on, <coughs> if somebody really invests himself for the peace, or for, you know, for peace in the world, he can have also spiritual experiences with two parents. Uh, two parents, they, are physic they have been physically, two mother is still living, but they are also spiritual. And, and this uh, I want to, yes, okay. This I want, I want to testify about that. The true parents are not only physical, they are spiritual parents too. Uh, yeah. So, I, yeah, after my husband passed away, also then uh, true father called me to Korea, so I was eight years in Korea, and also there, many times uh, I could meet uh, together. They invited, also I took care of uh, uh, students who study in Korea. And, uh, yeah, always they showed the love of parents. If they were young kids or early members or whatever, and this is, uh, yeah, we should learn uh, from our two parents to be a parent, and uh, so we we call our movement also uh, one family under God. So two parents are the parents of this and. Uh, one family under God. Yeah, so, what else? So many personal experiences. They, they, they show me the love of two parents. And uh, even, yeah. And uh, so if I think back of my life, we uh, yeah, have two children and Many times I could not fulfill. Many times I made many mistakes. And I have hurt also the hearts of others. But this is what, uh, yeah, if you study uh, about the ideology of two parents, uh, it is forgiving, forgiving and respecting each other. I, when I talk to brothers and sisters, I say we need a very generous heart. We really we have to grow above ourselves. <laughs> we have to forget ourselves in order to really bring peace to this earth. And um, for me, yeah, uh, I joined in 1967. Uh, I never forgot that the kingdom of God will be established on earth. That is a pledge of God, and is also the pledge of two parents. 
They invest everything we have heard the testimonies today. They invest everything to bring this uh, to life. The one world under God. That man, uh, you know, all religions, all nations, all continents, that at the end we will work together and we will bring peace. It takes time. It takes not only one generation, it takes more generations, but it is really the future. And it's a promise of God. And we are living in the time. Everybody can feel right now that it's a special time. So many changes. And uh, so we, the first generation, we, we are getting old. <laughs> You can see. But second generation, it's, I want to really tell second generation, it's your future. You have to invest yourself. It's your future. And uh, foundation is laid. But it is important that second generation takes over. Yeah. Yeah, I think I have uh, talked enough. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, it's very, very.